Is there an echo in here? I think there might be at Is least one echo. Two in echoes here. in here. We have a, So what's there. the best echo in the world? The that that thing over there, the echo plex? Right? Is that what they say? That's what I say. That's what everybody says, right? Best Is sounding that? echo in the world, right? Well, you must have some reason you wanted to get a different one. Why don't I use it? Well, I use it sometimes, but because the guy who designed it made one f fatal mistake when he designed it. The pedal's out of phase with itself. The pedal or the box, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and that that's like insurmountable if you're a guy like me that puts your delays only on one amp and leaves another amp always straight up, okay? So that's that it's just unusable at that point. Now, if you, you can fix it if the delay were to be on all the time by flipping the phase of one of the output speakers of one of the amps, okay? But now, if you shut the delay off, now you're out of phase without delay. So if the pedal's to be turned on and off and it's a phase flipping pedal, it's completely useless in a two amp setup, okay? And most people have figured that out by now. There's some people still make the mistake, but you know. So if you use the Echoplex, you only use one amp? Yeah. That's the only way it can be otherwise. So they're both on now. Yeah, one amp has delay, one amp does not. One amp has two delays. Right, so if I were to why do you need more than one delay on the amp? That well, let's save that for one second from now. Okay, so this is the amp with two delays on it. This is the amp that's straight. So I'm going to pull cord on this amp. Okay, and this is the delayed amp. <laughs> distorting stuff for instance I never want to lose that directness in the sound you know? turns out you can't play guitar holding a chord in your hand but anyway <laughs> so now back to your question so so that explains why some of us guys use delay on only one amp because see now both amps are back on so the delay will never hurt that initial <laughs> swamp it out depending on what you have on okay but it's less likely to it's so damaging to your tone to have the delay on the amp you're playing through now if you're recording you don't have any of these problems because the amp comes you get the sound you want coming out of the speaker and you put a microphone in front of that and you can dump any kind of effects you want on that without hurting this you know um, but you know for live stuff you that, there are ways to set up systems that way but it's very complicated and um, so what do I have two delays on? Okay, at the beginning of the video, uh, this demo is really about the max on the two max on pedals. Um, I'm not going to go through all the settings and show you oh uh, if you're playing this guy's music and that guy's music, people who use different delays because none of that. You you guys already know you all know that already. You know how many milliseconds you need. 
What you need to know is that the, the smaller pedal, the AD9 Pro, has 450, 450 milliseconds, which isn't enough for a long delay. Okay, It's great for the short delays, though. The other pedal has a claimed 900 milliseconds. I haven't even turned it up. That's the that, new pedal. Yeah, I haven't even turned it up that far myself. So, because I don't really care about anything past six or seven hundred. Um, so, what I'm going to tell you about is how these pedals sound, because I've had the 89 Pro for a while, and I know it's a great sounding pedal. It's not hurt your tone. Um, and I asked some people I know that have the other one. Forget that that one's longer. Set it the same as the other one and tell me if it sounds as good. And then, you know, it's like you just can't get an answer from anybody. So I like to put things on line that answer questions. Everyone else can show you how to use Echo. If you don't know how to use Echo, don't look to me to learn how. I'm just, I'll tell you how it sounds though. The thing that other people don't seem to tell you. That pedal sounds really good. The, the AD999 Pro. Yeah, the newer one that I got. Um, it's almost more invisible than the 89. The 89 Pro, these are both Pros now, okay? The 89 Pro, a little more touch of mid-range bump, very sweet little mid-range bump. Um, the 999, I would say, this is a very small amount, does not have that. It's almost more neutral, more invisible to the sound of the amp. Um, obviously, one has more delay than the other. Obviously, one puts you through four chips, the smaller pedal puts you only through two chips. So for my short delay, I'm going to use the pedal, since they both sound good, with only two chips because that, that's going to sound better than wasting the long chip pedal to run a very short delay. If you only to have one delay, you don't care about having two delays, but the, the short one won't give you the long one, but the long one will give you both. So then you can ignore what I said about preferring to use the short one for the short one because you're only going through two chips because it wouldn't matter, you only have one pedal. So again, Michelle asked me why do I have two delays on? Well, many, many years ago, back when I had first met Sean Lane, before I really knew what he was doing and, and before we were really working together, it was one of our early meetings, we were in this big, big room, I forget who was playing or somebody was gonna play there, big stadium type room and we were, we were clapping our hands and listening to the incredible echo delay in the room, you know. And I said to Sean, I said, man, imagine if you just had a pedal that did that. You know, none of these pedals do that. And he goes, well, there's a reason for it. He says, he says, you notice how I use three or four of these DD, I don't know whether they were twos or threes at the time, but the, the little white um, digital delay. And I thought they were on his board for, at the time for spares, you know, or different settings that were to be used at different times. But he then started to explain to me the simplest thing in the world. He said, look over there. What's that, three, four hundred feet to any kind of wall? Yeah, probably even more. Well, I look behind you, it's 20 feet. Look over there, it's 60 feet. This way it's 80 feet. He said, when you clap your hands here, you're hearing multiple delay times all at once. You're not hearing one delay. If all you heard was that long delay, it would sound stupid. It would sound like a guitar effect, like people have used for effects on certain kind of playing. Again, I, I don't, I'm not even going to get into that. A lot of that's what people use delays for, for that kind of thing. But if you're just looking for a room sound, just that long sound is, is kind of goofy, you know. So I'm using a very short one with a fairly long one and you can you can find whatever works for you in between because there's so many sounds in a room and 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 he showed me that and from that day on I learned that and I, sometimes I want one pedal on one pedal off like if you have to play something that was famous for the sound of only the short delay or whatever you know but and with two pedals you can sh or three pedal whatever you can shut them on and off and then it really gets ridiculous if they're all going through just the one amp you know so it's good to have it through both amps for that reason. A lot of guys do that, it's called echo amp. One amp is for your delays. And then your gain and stuff goes through both amps. Like this, this little tiny pedal board here with my gain master and my fuzz on it, both amps see that. And these are the latest 210Ns that aren't in boxes yet. They're, they're, they're awaiting their boxes. They're awaiting their boxes and they are for? Richard, hi Richard. Richard. These are your amps. 
Well, I'm breaking them in. Now let's break them in. For, let's really kick them. Look, see the volumes were here. See, show. Can you show that with the camera? I'm gonna kick these up to about nine o'clock. And we're gonna rip our faces off. 